So I've been in bed for the last like 30 minutes just on my phone But the boost of energy I just got when I got this text that my my espresso pods were delivered at my door Let's go get them and make some coffee Let's get some sunlight in here Let me open this Oh my god Ew too much but welcome or welcome back i hope you all are doing well damn where do i even start like i feel like i had a lot to say and it just disappeared well let's get into the title of the video i'm no, probably still waiting so yeah today i am actually going to get two new tattoos we're going to get tatted which is very exciting because I have not had any work done in the last two years. Yeah, in two days, it'll be exactly two years since I got any tattoos. And the last tattoos I got, I got this arm piece and this scorpion on the same day, the same session. And yeah, since then, I've just not gotten anything. You know, of course, whenever I first turned 18, I was so excited to be able to like legally in my state get tattoos because my very first tattoos were these two, which I got when I was 17 years old so yeah as soon as i turned 18 i got that the huge dragon piece that i have on my thigh and i just kind of went from there those of you who have watched me for at least the last couple years y'all know i was always in that tattoo parlor whether it was to get tattoos or a new piercing and then um yeah after the last pieces i got i just kind of not even intentionally i just kind of phased out of getting them so consistently because I knew and I know now I have the rest of my life to get tattoos although I don't take tattoos that seriously like none of my tattoos have a really deep meaning or resemble any crazy event in my life most of my tattoos the meaning is just that I got a tattoo and that I wanted it I cannot multitask I wanted to do my lashes do I do them? I want to do them but I'm not going to be able to do this and talk at the same time but yeah that's like I feel like the most exciting thing that's going to be happening in today's video I'm excited I have not had a tattoo needle or needles touch my skin in the last two years but yeah i'm getting one of them on like my lower stomach and then the other one i'm getting on this side on like my rib cage i already have a tattoo on this side on my rib cage area and this one that i'm getting today is smaller so i plan to be okay i think i will be fine but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes off camera and i'll get back to you guys in just a second so we can do this hair so before we continue getting ready i did want to thank better help for sponsoring today's video all right guys so before we get any further in today's video i did want to say thank you to better help for working with me in today's video so i'm sure you've heard of better help before but if you haven't better help is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100 online with better help you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists which can help you with such a wide range of things that you may be going through i personally feel like therapy is such a privilege any human being needs somebody to talk to so you know this way these aren't only people to talk to these are people who are licensed and experienced to give you advice into 
to help you through whatever you may be dealing with, which I just feel is so important. Getting started is super easy. You just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences when it comes to therapy. That way BetterHelp can better match you with um, one of their therapists. You know, you're not just providing someone without them knowing anything about you. You know, you've already kind of been able to have a say in that. You're also able to talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable. And I think this is great for people who we, you know, would prefer to, I mean, you can video chat, you can call, you can text. There's so many different ways to reach your therapist. So it's not just, you know, it's either this or nothing. You can talk to your therapist at any time and schedule sessions whenever it's convenient for you. Also, it's okay to, you know, get matched with a therapist and then they may not be the best fit for you. You can change your therapist at any time with no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you can expect to get the same professionalism and quality as an in-office therapist, but with a therapist that is custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and some more affordable options. BetterHelp has allowed me to give you guys 10% off of your first month going to betterhelp.com forward slash Aslia. I will also have a link in my description box. Once again, that is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com forward slash Aslia for 10% off your first month. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for working with me and let's go ahead and get back into the video. So I am done doing my lashes. Ever since I learned how to do lashes, my my little individuals. For those of you who ask where these are from, I get them off of Amazon. I have the link in my description for my Amazon storefront under the beauty section. But along with that, I wanted to add this to that as well because this is the glue that I use and I feel like this is the most important part because this is the way I'm actually able this glue it basically applies as a mascara so that way with these individuals i apply them underneath my lashes and that's what gives it the natural look where you can't see the band and it just adds to them looking like lash extensions that i would get professionally done i was gonna add this but i was only seeing the sets where it comes with the individuals that kiss provides for the lash extension look but i just got this by itself um at cvs but i actually did have to buy it in the pack but this is normally at target local drugstore it's the kiss Falscara. But now that that's done, I am going to go ahead and do my hair. I need to be on the way within the next hour, like actually on the way, not leaving the house. And I still need to stop at an ATM to get cash for this appointment. I have paid a deposit maybe like a little over a week ago, and then the rest is supposed to be paid in cash. So I need to pull that out because I don't ever keep that much cash on me. Only as you would be doing like a actual hairstyle when she needs to be leaving the house. I don't like doing parts all the way to the back of my head because, I mean, for obvious reasons, I cannot see. As long as it's decent, I'm okay with it. And if this doesn't work out, I can always slick it back in one bun. Whenever I was younger, I used to do this style all the time. Basically, it's just two little buns, but I think I'm gonna try to make them more like princess leia buns where instead of like the bigger puff i'm gonna kind of twist it and roll it so i have my hair out and i'm gonna get my producer my chin. just all my hair products basically I need a hair time and okay wow this is also probably an awful idea considering i'm gonna have to lay on my back i think for a tattoo on my stomach it work. I could do the high, I still have the chance to do a high bun instead. I feel like that's the most practical because this isn't a fashion show and I don't want to be uncomfortable for hours. So let's just do that instead and that's what I did yesterday. <laughs> or pull the hair all the way through anymore. I kind of just stop it until it looks like a cute bun. I kind of, I love the look of the bigger bun. I used to really like the top knot look where it's um, slimmer and taller, but recently, I don't even do high buns like that anymore, but I prefer this bun look, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna get my edge brush and just lay this hair down. 
I was actually watching the video not too long ago of the last tattoos that I got and I had one particular like I had a tattoo artist that I would go to when I lived in North Carolina not just a tattoo parlor but a specific artist has done pretty much all of my work besides a couple tattoos that I got here in Florida before I even moved here. If I didn't have to cheat on my tattoo artist, I definitely would not. Um, I'm very picky with who does my tattoos because I just, of course, don't want my work to look shitty. And I'm very thankful that I still love all of my tattoos. Even if, like, you know, maybe two years ago I wouldn't have got loyalty on my wrist, at least the work is good. The line work, it's just a good tattoo. It doesn't look shitty like i still like the font and as you can see all my tattoos look like i just got them last week this one on my thigh is still i mean i've had it for three years and you can see everything is i mean i would hope it's still there after a couple years but everything is just so dark and still looks amazing as you can see up close like nothing everything looks good here's y'all's tattoo tour because i will never sit here and do a video about it this one like all my stuff looks good this butterfly tattoo right here is actually one of the few tattoos that i did not get done by my tattoo artist marissa in north carolina and i actually got this done here if you guys go back and watch my 18th birthday vlog i actually got this butterfly tattoo i love butterfly tattoos in general i like what they represent and i did get this as kind of like a new beginnings new phase of life tattoo and i still absolutely love it yeah so the guy that did this one i think it's the same guy i know it's the same i'm pretty sure i booked with the same man i don't like i know i booked with the same um company like it's not gonna be the exact same building that i went to last time because he's actually having his own tattoo parlor built and it's in the process of being built so for now he's just working out of like a private office area so he's still able to work from what i've been told if i was going to get any tattoos living here it had to be with somebody i've already gotten a tattoo done with that i know doesn't work i've had it on my body for years so i can see you know how it heals so i reach back out to him i think it's the same guy like if it is i know damn well he doesn't remember me but i actually it would be cool to show him the video and be like do you remember this but that video is actually funny because i did end up passing out in the seat because he had done this and he also touched up the very first tattoo i got because the very first place i went to to get tattoos in general was i mean the experience was fine but the it the work was just awful like it healed terribly it looked like i had already had it for maybe 10 years and it had been 10 weeks. Oh shit. 12.47. I'm wearing this little... I cannot believe, like... What? <laughs> this is insane how the, like, Skims stretches. But I'm wearing this little, like, bra top from Skims. I'm wearing this black Skims t-shirt. And I got these shorts. I got these in a medium, so hopefully they're actually wearable out of the house. The last time I had these, I was smaller and the size was smaller. And they looked like literal underwear, so... Just I just got here. It is 1.44, so we have time. I was eating this disgusting protein bar. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. I don't know why I tried to get a new flavor when I was completely fine with the one I had. This cookies and cream pure protein bar actually tastes like dirt, but it's cool. This office building is really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my car, I'd say like five minutes before my appointment starts, just so I can make sure that I, you know, I'm able to find the building or his unit specifically but i'm very excited it still doesn't feel like i'm actually getting tatted today it does not it's been a while like i'm i remember the feeling but i feel like you don't really remember remember until it starts there's cows dude i've not seen cows since i've lived here that's insane okay
like a fake sticker tattoo. I was gonna say that exactly. Like the ones you get for 25 cents on the <laughs> machine. But in a good way. <laughs> Far not as bad as a stomach. Really? Ah oh, damn, I would have thought this one would have had more. That's now you barely got on my like, <laughs> I don't yeah, know yeah, about don't like the middle. Uh, I feel like if I say it's not that bad it's gonna get worse. <laughs> Are you gonna color them in as you go or do that after? Yeah, I do the outline first and then I'll color it in. God. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to use a different needle to Coloring in is like shading it, right? Mm-hmm. Feel like your tattoos hurt like the older you get like more like, do they hurt more yeah sorry um i don't know if it's just like i don't remember how bad it was mm -hmm. or, um honestly yeah it feels a little worse yeah i feel like as i've gotten older like every time i get tatted i'm like dude i fucking hate this shit yeah like why did i like i did like, not why the fuck did i even start doing this <laughs> yeah i know most clients tell me the same shit. They're like, bro, the older I get, I don't know. I think my skin's like fucking loose or some shit. I don't know what right. it is, but it fucking hurts. Because I remember being like 18, 19 years old, bro, getting tatted, and that shit was like butter. Download and listen to ad free music wherever your day takes you, so it's even easier to tune in to what you really. 
and I'm just gonna be right back to your phone, yeah, like a widow. See, I'm doing right now, she's lying, she can really quick. I think I'm stupid, so it's I'm sitting around, we ain't doing them, they go to the bottom, creepy to grow. I do ourselves, they like the shop. I'm pouring this down, I'm gonna rent the flat in the pilot, got that shit on. I don't need no silence, nigga, take it on myself, ain't got no problem with it. Any, any money, no Lamborghini, Billy Rose. I'm gonna fuck it like it's no tomorrow, fuck me like it's no tomorrow. Skill from one to ten, how bad was it? The servant wrapped like. <laughs> you got your little wrinkle there. Oh, it's like. Or it's just raised. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Perfect. Awesome, man. Thank you. Appreciate you so much, man. Thank you so much for coming. Of course. Thank you. Already right, you know, man. You're part of the fam, so the next time you get tatted, it'll be at the new location. Oh yes. Have a way better environment, more chill. Awesome. Unless I'm crazy, I definitely filmed a clip in between these clips talking about my whole experience and the pain level of everything. Um, it just disappeared, but basically that's what I was talking about. And then I said I was going to go somewhere to eat, but it just disappeared. So I'll make sure to add like the pain levels and just the details I was kind of talking about for five minutes, you know, just on the tattoo clips. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty much here. I'm in like the area, but it's insane right now. It's about to be 5 p.m. So it's just that rush hour time and parking is uh, gonna be interesting. I'll probably have to get lucky to find a spot as somebody's leaving, but I'm really close to the mobile place. And then from there, I'm honestly just gonna walk and find somewhere to eat. This whole strip is pretty much just restaurants. So I'll find something. I don't really care to sit down and eat. We'll see, but honestly, like, I was just planning on taking it home. But yeah, I'm in like the Miracle Mile area in Coral Gables where it just has this strip. That's so cute. My rib cage is like on fire. Is this a spot? Yep, I'm parking right here. I'm gonna have to readjust. Actually, no. Damn, I didn't realize I had that much space at all. All right, perfect. So what if I do? Once again, are these the things we get excited about now? Parking spot, really? I'm like right in front of Barnes and Noble, but I'm not going in because I've not read in months and I still have so many books I need to finish. No, it's it. Just get back in the car after walking who knows how long in the wrong direction I mean I was walking towards a restaurant similar to like the same type of food I wanted but it didn't seem to actually exist I couldn't find it and then I realized I had just completely walked in the opposite direction of where I thought it was going so I went to this place I already forgot what it's called it's a Thai restaurant. I honestly don't know how to pronounce this. I'm just gonna put it on the screen. I've never had their food before, but I got the Thai fried rice with chicken in it. And then I also got spicy edamame, which just sounded so good. I've never heard of spicy edamame before. I definitely could have ate in there. It was so laid back, but it's six o'clock. I just wanna go home. Genuinely has been enough time out of the house for me today. It's been nice. Like I loved just walking this in the evening. As you can see, it's gotten darker, but I don't mind just, just leaving. 
I haven't seen my cats in a minute either, so I need to check on them. <laughs> I've yet to look at it, but this is the spicy edamame. What makes it spicy is that it's in sh like chili oil, I think. They smell amazing. They typically just have like salt on them. Edamame is really good. The chili oil doesn't really add any flavor, just a kick. Mm, it's nice though. I thought maybe I'll go to the gym today too. <laughs> I'll go to tomorrow. Cool. Bye. And then, got this big thing of fried rice with chicken in it. Thai fried rice is so good. I've not had it in forever. Those peppers smell so fresh. That looks amazing. So it is now 9 p.m. Thankfully, it's not that late. And I have eaten. I finished cleaning. I finally, it was really just mopping the floors and just doing some laundry. It has definitely been more than two hours since I have gotten the saran wrap on my tattoos. So it is definitely time to take it off. And we're going to go ahead and hop in the shower. I just plan to clean them while I'm in the shower because it's going to get wet anyway. So I mean, I have this cast still, so I also have it in the shower. But this right here, we're going to need because I don't have this. Here. I'm excited to actually like see the tattoos because I feel like I didn't get that good of a look of um, the one on my rib before I left. He didn't have a mirror in there because that wasn't like his official setup or building or anything. So I had to like go to the bathroom to look, which I was given the option to do. Uh, this is like, I think one of the reasons I've been stalling and not been in a rush to take it off is because this is the part that hurt. Like actually cleaning it and having to touch the air. Like this is so comfortable right now. I don't really feel it. But now it's gonna burn just like it did. Um, when I first got it, damn. This is actually so close to my boob. Like kind of underneath it a little bit. <laughs> See, I can't really. This is gonna make me gag. Ugh. I get nauseous so easily. Damn, it's sweating so bad. But it's so cute. I'm like not used to seeing anything else on me at all. It's so weird. And like there's so much, like this one is so much darker than anything I have. Because obviously it's not good. Honestly, um, if I keep looking at them right now, I'm going to get lightheaded because I feel like I'm going to pass out. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get in the shower. I could never be a piercer. That's crazy. I could go, like I could watch somebody else like break their leg and not even react. But when it's on me, I just can't. Like blood makes me so nauseous. My hair's really frizzy, but... I like these two new tattoos because they're kind of a different style than any of my other pieces. Like this one right here, it reminds me of... I don't want to say trailer trash because that's kind of offensive. This looks like something that someone would get as a tram stamp on the lower back, but like... Obviously smaller. The tattoo artist and I were saying it kind of looks like the tattoos that you would get out of the little machines for 25 cents But in the best way possible. It's really cute and I like the placement of it I will not be getting anything else on my stomach. At first I was gonna get it on this side But that actually makes no sense because I already have a butterfly here and that would just be too much Yeah, the distance between these two is still good and then that is what this one looks like. I literally can't see. And then my boob covers half of it. This tattoo is gonna wanna make me wear like lower rise pants, but I don't wear lower rise pants at all. All my pants go here. Um, it looked really cute with the bathing suit though. I'm gonna take like a lukewarm shower because hot would be way too painful and you said not to do that anyway. I also uh, like having another red tattoo because the only other red one I have is this little one right here. So I feel like this side is a little more balanced out because I didn't have anything over here that's how this cool. I do, but nothing on my big section. Hi guys, good morning. So it is the following day. It's 10.58 in the morning. Oh my gosh, wait, I have to like, there's no storage on this SD card. I wish I had my tripod that goes on the mirror. Like the car tripod, but it broke. They're like not good quality. But I have like four videos that have already been either published or I ended up doing nothing with just sitting on this camera. So no wonder I have no storage on it. But 
It's the next morning. I'm about to clean my tattoos. So I have my Castile soap here and my lotion. Um, my butterfly, I don't feel at all. That one, like as you can see with my regular, the way I wear my pants, you don't see it. But if they, if I wore them like regular pants that weren't high waisted, it would look like this. But yeah, this one, it was, you know, more painful to get but I don't feel it now. You would think it is a bubblegum machine tattoo. And this one right here is the one that's uncomfortable. I actually was just wearing like a t-shirt with no bra underneath because obviously with it being on the bra band, it's like a different placement and healing. So yeah, the thing that I noticed with this tattoo, obviously like it's on my rib cage, but I asked for it on my bra band, which is exactly where this is. But since I have like a bigger chest my boobs literally hang on my chest so if they were lifted or if I had a smaller cup size like you see how it is now like if it was lifted or I had less like this is what it would look like that's <laughs> and you know whenever I'm getting it done and my arm is raised like that's what it looks like but since I have chest it's gonna be you know kind of underneath but I do like how it just kind of pokes through but yeah placement is gonna look different on everyone just depending on what you're working with so you yeah, know but I really like both of them it's so cute like just I figured I would clean them on camera because I feel like that's just a tradition when I get a tattoo on my channel I almost forgot to clean them in the morning I feel like I just forget it's kind of a given at night because I always shower and bathe at night <sighs> since it's like kind of in a crease so you don't want it to stay down what did i well i could always get aquaphor or something that's what i used to use i feel like i'm sagging if my pants don't go over my belt button okay so a little update it's been like an hour or so so this table that you guys see in my kitchen here this one that one i just got but this one right here that is the table i talked about it in one of my recent videos how it's from ikea karen and i tried to put it together it's just like this should explain it for um yeah it was just not working but i love the style of the table so it was in one of my recent videos i talked about how i ordered one that pretty much looked the same this is actually my third time with them attempting to deliver this table the first two times um i was asleep i was just you know on my phone and i was getting like a call from a random number which happens all the time because these numbers are recycled pretty much any number i've had at least with verizon i get random calls all the time people thinking i'm one person it's not me like i got a call the other day saying my tires were ready not for me got a random happy new year text that was supposed to go to like a family not for me either yeah, so I got a call three or four different times from this number and that's not the first time I've got calls like that So I just blocked the number and then I got another call like, right after from an unknown Just a random number and it said it was unknown and at this point I'm like, okay, I'm feeling a sense of urgency Let me just pick it up and not say anything as soon as they I picked up the phone. They're like, hey, um, this is CB2 I'm like, oh shit, and I was in the bathroom on my business and apparently he was knocking on the door i didn't hear a damn thing but long story short i went out with them they brought the table in i am so happy that i don't have to build it i'm so excited it looks the exact same that's crazy but this one is definitely gonna be better quality and all i'll have to do is unbox it and replace it with this one i'm very excited to have a sturdy table i'm plugging my air filter just because you're not gonna be able to hear me but so the last time i was sitting here i look like i'm about to film a serious ass video but the last time i was sitting here i was you know i was building something but it was very entry level which i'm 
sure like this could be considered entry level too i just don't build anything i'd much rather have somebody else do it for me or at least help me or pay someone to do it give task rabbit a run for their money so in my last video i mentioned how i have purchased some new furniture and i ordered it from everything but that table is from ikea and it took three different deliveries to get everything here but everything was officially like the deliveries Co were completed yesterday i just have a lot of boxes full of furniture that needs to be built i think those two pieces they're those have to be for the bed i think they have the name on them i like what they're for thankfully ah so this but this is just intimidating it's so big Yes, this is a team. Okay, so ow. having cats, kittens specifically, I'm just gonna need to make sure that here you can play with these because I don't have extras. This actually looks, let me not even say anything. Okay, so this is like the general base. This doesn't include the doors, but those are just in a different box, I'm assuming. So this is called the best uh, TV stand. The first thing it recommends is to do it with two people, of course. Okay, so it has all the parts and how much... Oh my god. Fuck! Bro, it's turning like half a centimeter I'm not even gonna waste any more of your time or embarrass myself further but I would ended up basically stripping out all the screws that weren't even fully screwed into the TV stand so with that being said I wasn't really able to move any further even if I wanted to so I ended up having to go and get new parts so yeah until then I just kind of left it as is It is now a couple days later and um, I actually tried to film yesterday. You know, this video was kind of focused on two different things. I was going to take you guys to my tattoo appointment and just because I wanted to try to put together some of the Ikea furniture that I bought recently. Yeah, so I attempted to start or I had planned to finish putting together my TV stand yesterday. I did not get very far. I think I'm on like the third step. It's just not my specialty. So I had decided, you know, if I have the luxury of paying somebody to build it for me, it's a win-win because that way I'm not stressing out. I know my furniture is being built correctly because there's so many things I already had to redo. So I have a lady coming at three that I booked off of TaskRabbit and she's coming to build my, along with my two nightstands I ordered. That way, you know, the hardest part will be over and building three different things is more than enough and will be a huge help it's january 7th i woke up really late i originally woke up to my alarm just to go back to bed but the moment i woke up i had done what i had planned to do earlier in the day which was re-dye my hair i just use like demi permanent hair dye so it doesn't last long they say to wait like four to six weeks in between dyeing your hair and that's about as long as it took to start fading i maintain it with like a color conditioner in between but it only does but so much the moment my hair started fading like when i was in the light and I could see it starting to have like a more brown hue to it opposed to black. I was like, nah, we gotta redo that. So I have like, I think you could tell that I dyed it up here. I tried to like cover my neck in Vaseline. I don't know how good of a job that did. But yeah, I did that this morning, washed my hair, styled it, this little bun. But until she gets here, which will be in like 40 minutes or so, I'm going to go to the mail room because I had some packages delivered today, which is like... Christmas. I don't know about y'all, but I love seeing people open up their packages, showing us what they got. And then also some of the things are like jewelry and things like that, which you guys ask me about sometimes. So that way you guys can just see exactly where they came from. I can show y'all that. And then if I don't get this table taken apart and thrown out before she comes, I'll just do it while she's here. I'll just be doing things around the house while she's here. Okay, so I'm back inside sitting on the floor now okay little not so little amazon slash etsy haul okay so first package that we have okay so these are these two tops that um i saw somebody else 
recommending. They're basically like these long sleeve tops. I thought these would look really cute with jeans or even, oh my gosh, with leggings. I just felt like these would be very flattering. They're like a thicker ribbed material, but still feel pretty breathable. So I got it in gray. You could choose, you had to buy two of them and there was different color combinations. So I got the, Then I also got it in white. I'm still getting offers for extended warranty on a car I don't even own anymore. So I got that in my mailbox as well. But the next thing is from Amazon as well. I think these are also clothes. I'm really just trying to like, I pretty much wear the same, like the rotation of the same few clothing items every day. You guys probably notice in my videos, which is completely fine. I just want to like expand like my basics and what you wear definitely makes an impact on how you feel. It's like surface level. You just want to feel good in what you're wearing, you know? In here, I got some crew socks in black and gray. I just got these because I wanted some that I could wear with any shoes that don't have the champion logo on them. Those are the ones I have now. That's fine. Like I wear them to the gym. I wear them out, but I just wanted some without a logo on them because sometimes it can look a little tacky depending on what they're wearing. And then this right here, um, I don't know actually. Oh yeah, so I ordered these sunglasses because I just wanted another pair of sunglasses. I just wanted to try a different style. These sunglasses right here, so cute. I don't think they're flattering with the hair so hairs right now. These are so cute. I am very pleased with these. This is like Christmas. So this from Amazon, I think is actually, let's just open it because we're about to see it anyway. Okay, so in my last video, you guys may have saw me open the jacket, the black zip up BBL jacket. I ordered this one as well. I ordered them at the same time. This one just came later. They're from the same brand, but I got it in a color I had never seen them have before. And it's this beautiful, oh, like bubblegum pink. This is gorgeous. This is so cute. I cannot wait to wear this. A pink zip up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is adorable. So the last package that is from Amazon. <clears throat> So since I got my Nespresso for Christmas, I've been drinking more coffee. It's like something I really look forward to. And I've been making some really good coffee, better than anything that I've had from Starbucks coffee wise. Oh my gosh. What I had this morning was fantastic. I'll have to show you how I made it. I got these to go travel cups because I didn't really have like, if I were to typically bring coffee to go, I would just bring a mason jar with a straw with no lid, which obviously is not the most um, you know, there could be some issues with that. I basically got some that have a lid, but they're so cute. I'm just gonna break them. This is what they look like. They are adorable. They're like this really cute shaped glass jars with this lid. I mean, yes. Typically my coffee, I mean, this morning it didn't even last 10 minutes, but these are fantastic. I love everything about these cups. I know what this is, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this. This is something that I've always wanted to try. Not necessarily try, but just have in my bathroom. Like I've always seen it, but never experienced it. In this box right here off of Etsy, I ordered some eucalyptus, and this is made specifically to hang in your shower. Whew, fresh eucalyptus smells amazing. And I just feel like this is gonna be really refreshing feel revitalizing to have in the shower and i think it also has some benefits run bundle under hot water for 10 seconds to warm up the oils in the stems squeeze bundle after running under water to release the oils from inside the stems hang your bundle by the loop on the hook enjoy while fresh for one to two weeks and up to a month after as before once it dries oh my gosh so that is exactly what this is i'm going to hang this in the shower after doing what they're telling me on the packaging i'm very excited it already smells so good so that is amazing. I think this is also not good for cats, so I'm definitely gonna keep that tucked away so they can't touch it. It'll go in my shower though, I have no access to it at all. So, next package. Is this a shirt? Yeah, I've been ordering a lot of graphic tees. I got this one off of Etsy as well. But I ordered these, oh, these two came? I ordered these two. I can't remember if they're from the same shop or not. I don't think so, because I feel like they all would have been shipped at the same time, but I'll leave them all linked down below. So I got this other Playboy Cardi graphic t-shirt. The exposure is so high. That's odd. So cool. And then I also got this one, which is also Playboy Cardi. I love just a graphic tee. You could throw them on with anything. And then 
These last few things are some jewelry that I ordered. I love my gold jewelry. I've been wanting to wear more like bracelets and rings and I just have not ordered them. These have been in my cart forever. So this right here is my ring, I think. In this little bag, like this. Gosh, it's so pretty. I think I ordered this in a seven because I know it'll fit on one of my fingers. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's gold plated. This was like $33. Excuse my nails. They're atrocious, but gorgeous. I love the engravings in this ring. And then lastly, before this battery dies, this came from Korea. Oh my gosh. Like even some of the spelling on the shipping label is in Korean. Wow, I'd assume it's it says Korean post on it. That is insane. You tell me this came from out of the country. Wow, I don't even want to throw this envelope away. This flashing battery dying is stressing me out. It's packaged very well. Okay, my battery did die, but lastly, I got this bracelet because I used to wear a cuff a gold cuff bracelet all the time and it snapped in half. I got it from TJ Maxx. It ran its course, it did a good job, but it broke. And I've not got another one since. So I got this gold cuff bracelet and this one kind of has like this hammered print in it. I think is how they described it. So pretty. I love gold jewelry. I like cuff bracelets because it's way more likely to fit your wrist because you can kind of adjust it to your liking. So yeah. I am going to put all these things away. I am so excited to use everything. I wanna make a coffee just to put in one of these jars, which I'm probably gonna do, along with getting my eucalyptus set up. I kinda wanna like deep clean my shower before I put it up, which I'll probably do and take you guys with me as well. I'm actually not gonna make coffee right now because I don't even want that. I just got out of Ikea and my reason for coming back here is because the lady that came to come and build some of my Ikea furniture for me first of all there was two nightstands she built one I love the nightstands but one of them was completely missing a piece it was nowhere to be found it was in one of the boxes and not the other and it's weird because the box before she even opened it she had told me that it looks like it was like repackaged and then you know a piece was missing so I had to get this piece and then also with the TV mount where am I going actually? With the TV stand, she was gonna put that together as well. Basically, I just fucked it up. Um, all of the screws that are basically the whole base, the whole way the TV stand would stay together. I cleaned out all of the screws to where you can't screw any of them in and a lot of them need to be screwed in further. So I got replacements for all of those for free. Um, I was there for well over an hour. I'd say nearly an hour, hour and a half, but it's okay because we got everything that we needed. I kind of want to try to finish putting some things together tonight because my main issue with the TV stand was that was what I messed up and I've, you know, I can learn from my mistakes and try again. And then the nightstand, I didn't even go through the directions before I hired someone instead to help me, but she pretty much put together the second one besides that piece that was missing. So she made that job a lot easier for me. So honestly, I think I'll be okay. And then as far as the bed, I'll get help with that. But I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna hire anyone for that because no, I'm not because it's already been done. I've had that bed before. And then they charged me $118 to get one night sand built. So as great as um, Task Rabbit is, uh, absolutely not. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I am going to go to Target because I need to get cat food. And I wanted to get a couple um, snacks just to help me maintain throughout the day. Um, especially when it comes to getting my protein in. It is now the next day and I'm here sitting on the floor because I am going to attempt to at least put together the rest of this nightstand. She practically did everything for me. So if I'm not able to at least complete the last couple of steps, I'm going to be very disappointed. 
Um, I am wearing the same shirt as yesterday. I also, you know, got the pieces that I still needed for this TV stand. So honestly, like I was doing okay until I messed up the screws. So I can attempt to put this together as well. But with the nightstand, I'm gonna put you guys on the one that's already put together. So I'm gonna go back to the step that she was on and hopefully we can just pick up from there. <laughs> first things first, okay. I think she was on the third step. I should have watched her put this together, but I mean, I plan to not have to touch it. So this piece of wood, it's a little wood piece. I had all my parts in this little bag right here. And she used like a hammer to put this in, I think, which I don't have either. And then it goes like this. And then you put this little white piece in there. Okay, that's sturdy. So that step is done. Next one is you put, I think that's this piece. No, this is too thin. This piece is on next. Okay, how first? This doesn't look like it. Oh, okay, yeah, it does. Oh. Okay, I think I'm supposed to put something. God, I hope this is right. I think it is. So now it's the piece. She already did this too. And this goes on top of this. I think this goes like this. Okay. So this is the top of the next stand. <laughs> Just kind of pop those in there. I think this is correct. No, it's. Um, I put it, it looks right, but it, see how this one is like all mesh work in the back. This one in the back looks like this. Did I fuck it up? This is like the perfect way to get splinters. Okay, then this goes here. I don't have a hammer, so this is basically what keeps these little nails keep this back piece on. This is where we're at with the TV stand. It's definitely, there's progress. I got a lot more done than I had planned on doing myself. And it at least is starting to look like what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? This battery's about to die. Yeah, I just don't want to bite off more than I could chew. These pieces here are intimidating. I don't even know. I still have to add shelves to the TV stand along with the doors. And that's just not something that I want to be a part of. I'm going to leave that to somebody else along with hanging it on the wall. I don't even want to describe the pain I went through trying to hang that up. And we're not even going to get too close because... It fell off the wall multiple times in the process. There's scuffs all over my wall. 
And that reminds me, I need to put in a service request to get the paint color to like paint over. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do that tonight. But I'm gonna go ahead and put away all of this and just store it in the guest room for now so it's not in the way. And I can at least, you know, start trashing a lot of these boxes so my living room can start to look a little more like a living room. But one thing that we can do tonight is, I don't know why I've had this table just sitting in, like wrapped up for days when this is the easiest thing I could have done. We could put these nightstands in my room, switch them out with the other ones. I'm gonna keep the other ones cause I'll definitely end up using them moving forward. But for now, I'm kind of switching up the theme. But yeah, while we're at it, the fact that I have this new table waiting for me, I've still chosen to eat on this. It's beyond me, I don't even have an explanation. I don't even think like <laughs> yeah. That's Yeah, this is great. This would also be the perfect table to like play games with a group of people. That is probably one of my least favorite things to do. Absolutely love them. I've also never had nightstands that actually have drawers. Yeah. 